everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to charge your PlayStation 5 controller with a phone charger without burning it out. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So, can you charge your PlayStation 5 controller with a phone charger? The simple answer is yes, but there are some things you want to go ahead and look at so it doesn't burn out and damage the battery. So, I have my PlayStation 5 controller right here. If we go ahead and flip this over, there are some words on the back that we can go ahead and read to find out what the best charger for the controller would be. So, let's zoom in here. All right, so on the back of the controller, we can see the model number, and then to the right of that is 5 volts, and then what looks like an equal signs, followed by 1500 MA, which is 1500 milliamps, and this will be equal to 1.5 amps. So we want to go ahead and find a phone charger that is very similar to that. The most important part is the 5 volts. You want to find something with 5 volts, and most fast chargers, it seems like, are 9 volts, and that could damage your controller. So if we do have anything under 1.5 amps, it's gonna go ahead and draw battery life from the controller because it's not getting enough power from the wall outlet. So we wanna have something that's drawn enough power from the wall outlet where we can play and use our controller at the same time. So the amperage can be higher than 1.5, but it shouldn't be lower. Now, just looking at the PlayStation 4 controller real quick, we can see the model number and then we can see the output for it is the 5 volts with the 800 milliamps, which is under 1 amp. So the PlayStation 5 controller is using like twice as much power. So this one says 1500 milliamps. So let's go ahead and look at some chargers I have laying around my house. This one is actually for my camera. You can see the output is 5 volts with 1.5 amp. So this charger would be perfect for my DualSense controller. This is for my cameras I got, the one I'm actually recording with. Now let's go to my next one. This is a Samsung fast charger, I believe. It's a little bit older. I believe it's for my S9. So we can see the output now is 5 volts still with 2 amps. So this one would be good too. So the most important number is the 5 volts. You don't want anything that is 9 volts. You want exactly 5 volts. Otherwise you could damage your battery and burn it out. And the amperage, once again, can be higher than 1.5. And I believe some iPad chargers can be all the way up to like 18 amperage. And this may charge your controller a little bit faster. Now I went ahead and looked around my house for all these different chargers and most of them were 5 volts so they should work with your DualSense controller and your DualShock controllers. Now to charge it, once you have the right phone charger, I mean you literally just plug it in just like this and plug the other end into your controller and then you find a wall outlet. So let's plug this in and my controller will now start charging and you'll know it's charging when the orange lights are coming on and flashing every like two or three seconds. So my controller is fully charged because there is no lights flashing on it. So if I unplug it and just plug it in once, it should only flash once. So there we go, it's flashing and my controller should be good to go. Now, it should be safe to leave this plugged in overnight However, I personally do not. I only leave it plugged in for a couple hours and then unplug it. So if I plug it in around dinner time, I'll unplug it when I go to bed. So hopefully this indeed it helped you guys out. If it did, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.